This is Kurt's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do what will probably be a reasonably quick video. I am here to do a post review of Cletus, Early Bird. Um, so this is a painting from Diamond Art Club and it's by the artist Richard Lorenz who has to, I mean, I struggle to pick out favourite artists because so much of what I like to work on depends on my mood and the colours and just the individual painting. But if I had to pick out favourite artists, Richard Lorenz is definitely up there um, amongst the art that Diamond Art Club offers at least. And this is the second painting of his that I have worked on from them. I have a couple of others in my stash, which I'm very keen to get to. There are more on their site that I have my eye on and may eventually succumb to buying, but don't have as yet. And of course, I like to keep an eye out for any new releases because it's definitely one of the artists that I'm more inclined to buy. So I was doing a bit of reading on Richard Lorenz in preparation for this video. Like I like to do that sometimes for the artists that I work on. Um, not all the time, but now and again with my favourites. And he calls his style whimsical be realism, which is a really fun way to describe it. Um, but yeah, so this series of birds. So I've done Family Circus, which was these owls. And then Cletus here is, oh, I don't know what kind of bird. But all of the ones that I have of his are birds. I'm not entirely sure if he has non birdie paintings to be fair <laughs> and the series is called be the bird and the thing that I really liked when I was reading about it is that he's trying to impart a message through these which is that each bird and each of us is a bird in in this in this message <laughs> so go with me is unique and it's just celebrating the uniqueness of us all. So all of his birds in his paintings are different. And when I look back at paintings like Family Circus that I've done before, which I'll try and put a, a picture of in now, every bird in it is different and you kind of get a sense of personality coming through it. And yet it's all through this like cartoonish, fun, not terribly realistic style of painting. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm rambling on about anymore, but I just really, really, really enjoy it. So I got this painting in the Cyber Monday sale. I think it was buy one, get one 50% off. And actually I bought a larger painting and I bought this one, which as you can see in Diamond Art Club terms is reasonably small. Um, so I didn't get the best value out of that offer, but these were the two that I wanted. And I've had it sitting there ever since and I've been sort of tempted to do it on numerous occasions. But as I think I mentioned in the Kitting Up video, I eventually pulled this out now because I really wanted to work on another of his paintings and I'd just done some really bright colorful ones. So it was a good time to do one that had all this sort of brownie area around the outside that I knew wasn't gonna be my favorite thing to work on. That said, I actually didn't mind it at all because it's Diamond Art Club's um, drills that fit together so well and neatly I'm able to multi-place a lot better with their their square paintings so with other kits from other companies where the spacing's a bit different I'm often limited to more of a four or seven placer or, or something in that region whereas with this I was able to use a ten placer so although there was a fair amount of brown colour blocking it went very quickly. That said one of the things that I did find I had a minor issue with with this painting is that quite a few of those background colours were a little bit prone to trash. Let me show you what I mean. So here are my leftover drills. I'll do this bit now <laughs> and then go back to talking about what I liked and didn't like. So as you can see, I have got drills left in all of the colours. Actually, you probably can't see in this, this style of storage, can you? Take it from me. But there were a few that I was running reasonably low on. And one of the reasons for that was I probably did have quite a lot of trash for a painting of this size. Let me see if I can show you a bit in here. So you can see there are quite a few with holes. Um, I always trash those because I don't like little holes in things. 
Um, and there are quite a few that you may not be able to see as well that had little knobbly bits or were just not entirely even. And quite a few of those colours that were particularly prone to that were the background colours. Let me get one out to show you what I mean. Oh, if I can clear things out of this tray. This is the tray that I use most often. So it is usually in need of a clean. <laughs> That's why the drills are getting a bit stuck. It's because I've let it get grubby. So I had a note of this colour being particularly bad for it. And bearing in mind this was a colour that there was a lot of in the painting. That's all I've got left. <laughs> because I did have to throw quite a few in the trash um, drill pot. Which is fine. As long as I get to the end and I have got enough, I don't particularly care. But, I don't know if it's going to be clear, but if you see, I'm trying to line these up like I would for multi-placing. It would help if the camera would focus on the right thing. And they actually, they look pretty good in the drill finder. <laughs> but in practice, they just, there, there were quite a lot of knobbly bits, slightly misshapen drills. They just didn't line up quite as nicely as some of the other colours. So it's just one thing to mention. It's, it's, it's always the way of things, to be honest. I don't think I've ever done a diamond painting from any company where there weren't some colours that were a lot nicer to work with than others. So it's fine. It is what it is. But yeah, that was one minor thing that I didn't like quite as much. The other minor thing that I was less keen on was that some of the colours in this background had really, really faint grid lines. So some of these like quite pale beige colours, I think this was one of the sections for instance. Um, it was, I should have taken a picture of it and I didn't. It was this symbol here at the end, 3864. And it was just very hard, whatever setting I had my light pad on, whether it was off or bright or, or dim, um, it was hard to see the grid lines, so it just made me have to slow down quite a bit for those sections to multi-place to make sure that I would get things in the right place. But yeah, I'm being picky, as I usually have to be when I'm reviewing a, a painting by Diamond Art Club, because, yeah, <laughs> generally, I have very, very positive experiences with them. So I loved the size of this painting. I said before how it was a reasonably small one, um, and it is in Diamond Art Club's standards although they've been bringing out more smaller kits recently which I'm actually all for even though I used to love the bigger ones but I do love being able to compl complete a painting reasonably quickly. I started this one I think I started it on the 12th of June um, I'm just trying to remember from when I looked up the dates for my mid-year review because I haven't thought to do that today <laughs> and I finished it in the end on the 1st of July because I didn't get very much done last week so it took me a while but that was more to do with my busyness and lack of time to dime paint the actual painting itself it, it did work up very quickly when I was on it and that's what I'm enjoying working on at the moment but my point from saying that it's quite small is that there is still a fair amount of detail in it and I think that's all been captured really well so his face, his face is adorable. The worm is on the small side, but you can still tell what it is, particularly in the context of the name of the painting. You know, the early bird catches the word. I was wondering in my mid-year review, wh which is the early bird? Is it Cletus? Is it this bird? <laughs> I don't know, but he's got a little clock on his hat. I love all those details. Um, and there's also another little bird or something just peeking over the top of his hat. And do you know what? I've only just noticed that this minute, despite having completed the painting already. So that's one of the things that keeps bringing me back to Richard Lorenz's paintings. It's just all those fun little details that pop out that you don't even notice necessarily until you're done. I love his grumpy little face. Honestly, he is so adorable. <laughs> He's very sparkly too. There's a fair amount of ABs, um, so all his beak area, that's quite sparkly. There's quite a lot of green in his feathers, particularly on this side, because the light's obviously shining down on this side of the painting. And his hat has got some green sparkles in as well. And then there's little bits, there were a couple of shades of yellow ABs and um, a white AB as well, but there wasn't very much the white. 
that's just little bits around their eyes so yeah nice little sparkles here and there to offset it this was the first painting I've worked on that actually had um, Diamond Art Club's new new square drills in so if you don't know what I mean a couple of years back they had sort of fairly standard uh, drills with that mix of nine facets on top and 13 facets on top and then back in 2021 they started um, well they started making them in-house and they gradually transitioned so that all of their drills had 13 facets on top and they all matched and it was like that for a little while and then they changed them again so that they have 20 facets and I hadn't worked on any kits with that yet and this one had that but do you know what the difference was so subtle, I didn't notice till I was halfway through. Let me see if I can figure out a colour to show you that has it, just in case you haven't seen it. Okay, it tended to be the lighter colours that I noticed it in. I noticed it in, which surprised me because last time they transitioned to new drills, it seemed to be the darker ones first, so I thought there was a production reason for that, but hey-ho. Um, so let me bring this in and wait till it focuses. I don't know how well you can see that, but those are the new, new drills. And I don't know if these are here to stay or if they have more things planned, we shall see. But yeah, I liked them. As I say, they're a sort of pyramid shape. They've got a point in the middle. And I had heard people say they weren't that keen on that and it sort of, you know, scratched their hand a little bit. I obviously didn't have any issues because I didn't even notice. I don't know if it'd be different if the whole painting was in these, but anyway, they were nice. And they were not the colors that had trash in them. The only colors that I found I had trash issues in were the older 13 facet drills. Um, so yeah, I'm hopeful based on that, that there will be even less trash in kits that all have these 20 facet drills. Yeah, I don't have a huge amount else to say because I was just very, very happy with the experience. It's not the brightest painting. I don't always work on paintings with this sort of largely muted colour palette, but I do love how the bright colours in this central section pop out against that background. And as I said, the background worked up quickly, so it, it wasn't an issue. But yeah, the greens are really fun and the glitzy yellows and reds and oranges they really it, it that juxtaposition works for me like if a painting was all neutral colors or darker colors I wouldn't get on with it as well if it's all bright colors I'm all in but if it's got a combination and you get that juxtaposition of brighter colors against muted colors then I, I can enjoy that and I did <laughs> So that is it from me today. That is Cletus Early Bird. Um, I'm trying to work out what I'm gonna work on next. I'm filming this on the day that my whip and chat is going up in the evening, where I've asked you all to help me decide which project to kit up next. I'm currently working on a kit from Diamond Art Studio that I've had on the go for a couple of months, and I'm really enjoying getting back to that. Um, but yeah, I would love your help to choose my next painting although I will probably have cut that off by the time you see this so ignore that little ramble. Thank you for joining me today and I hope that you've enjoyed watching this if you have please consider liking and subscribing to the video and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye!